Hi guys, it's Cody with Greenstock Vertical Gardens and I'm here to show you exactly how to plant up a Greenstock Vertical Planter. And so I think our first step will just be to fill them up with soil, so Tom's going to help me do that. Alright, so now that we got these all filled up with soil, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use some Espoma Organic Fertilizer. This is the tomato tone, but you can use whatever fertilizer you prefer. And I'm just going to add a handful to each um, planter. I'm just going to kind of mix that in a little bit. And then next we're going to go ahead and plant. So you can use starter plants or you can plant from seed. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. You can mix and match whatever you prefer. With tomato plants you want to be sure to clip off the bottom leaves. Alright, so now that I've removed the lower leaves, I'm just going to bury this um, almost all the way up. You just want to leave a few leaves for it to photosynthesize. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and plant that. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm also going to do some seeds in the pocket beside it. These are green bush bean seeds. They grow really well in a green stock. And I'm going to do three seeds per pocket. cover that up. All right, and then I'm going to do some basil in the remaining pockets. And we're just going to plant that one at soil level. So really it's just tomatoes and peppers that you want to bury a little bit deeper, but everything else you just want to plant at soil level. So this is the base where the green stock is going to sit in. We also have three locking wheels, and then we also have three non-locking wheels. And then at the very bottom of the bag you'll see a drain hose and a cap. Um, these are great if you want to collect water in the mover for a short amount of time and this will help uh, redirect water if you need to you know, redirect it off your deck or into a separate container if you want to reuse that water. So I'm just going to show you how to assemble it. Okay, now that i got my three locking wheels, I'm going to put the other ones in, which are non-locking. And you just want to alternate these for maximum stability. Okay. So all you do is you just take a watering disc, you kind of clear the area around, and I'm just going to add um, the watering disc to where the holes line up to the pockets. And you also want to make sure that the watering discs are clean when you're um, doing this step because if there is anything in them, it will hinder the watering system later. And we just want the feet to interlock with the one below it. So now that we have it all stacked up, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up to the four tier mark. Since this is a four tier, we want to fill it up to the four. Um, and I always wait to water my planters until they're completely planted and stacked, just to make sure that, I, that they're easy to lift, basically. All right, so you just want to fill it up to that four tier mark with a quick filling hose or with a bucket. Um, so you can see how it's starting to drip through those little holes and the rest of it will go right down that center funnel and deliver water to each of the tiers below. All right, so I'm just gonna lift this planter up so I can show you exactly how it's filling all those gray discs. 